going to be plotting uh, data that is numerical data on what we call a line plot and a line plot is a number line uh, we all know what a number line looks like it's usually a horizontal line with equal spaced points so we're gonna first make a number line and then we're going to keep track of how many times that that number shows up in the data set by placing uh, circles or dots above the actual um, above the actual number it's gonna keep track of how many times that number shows up in the data set okay so let's first read this problem and see where we're heading Miss McGregor is a teacher in rural Florida she surveyed her students to find out how far from school her students lived the following data is the distance between the school and her students homes in miles so the first thing that we know is that Miss McGregor has asked her students um, how far they live and they've given uh, their their distances in miles so the first thing that we're going to do is um, have that in mind now obviously Miss McGregor had to have asked a statistical question to her class a statistical question is a question that expects that the answers will be different so it expects variation in the in the responses um, and these are the responses below 8 miles, 10 miles, 7 miles, 7 miles, 8 miles, 10 miles, 11 miles, 10 miles, and 5 miles. So she asked 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 students that question. Um, and our job is to represent the data on a line plot and be sure to include a title. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to look down here and I'm going to see when I'm making my number line, I want to know where my number line has to start. So my number line is going to start um, it could start with the smallest number, but I like going one number before the smallest number, and it needs to end um, with the largest number, and I like going one number after the larger number. So the smallest number in this data set right here seems to be, okay, eight small, seven smaller than that, uh, five. So five is the smallest number. So I'm gonna start my number line off at four, um, because that's one, one less than, than, than five. You can start it off at five, but I like including a little bit more wiggle room. On my number line and the largest number in this data set is okay 10 is bigger than 8 no them bigger than 10 oh 11 is bigger than 10 all right so the largest number is going to be 11 so I'm going to go to 12 so the number line is going to start at the number 4 and end at the number 12 to do that I'm going to make a straight line is my horizontal line and then I'm going to e want to make equal spaced points. So I'm actually going to take my ruler out. I'm going to take my ruler out, and I want to make sure that these are equally spaced. And the distance between four and twelve is let's see, eight nine. So I can get nine equal space points here. I'm good. Let me take my pen tool and begin making marks right where they're equally spaced. I'm using the centimeter side of, of the ruler where I can make equal space points now. And I'm, I'm hitting every whole centimeter. should only need to make nine marks because the gap from uh, eight from sorry from four to twelve is eight and I'm gonna add one more because I'm including the actual number four alright now I can draw these in with the numbers four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and one more if I want thirteen Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to label what this data actually shows. And this data shows the distance between the school and their homes in miles. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna be specific about the unit of measurement I'm using. So this is the distance between student homes between school 
and let me get rid of the ruler student homes and this is in miles it could be in feet it could be in inches but this is in miles so I need to specify that this is the unit of measurement that I'm measuring the distance um, between school and, and home okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to represent uh, how, how many times that these numbers show up on this line plot that's all a line plot is keeping track of how many times the numbers have shown up in the data set so I'm going to use my my circle tool over here I'm going to just draw a circle that I can use to keep track and let me do something to its properties make it look like a circle that I want it to look like there we go all right okay so this is gonna keep track of how many times that this uh, that these numbers pop up in the data set Alright, so the first number is an 8, so I'm going to place one circle on the 8. On a line plot, you use either X's or dots. So there's my, there's one 8. Uh, the next number is 10. So I'm going to represent 10. And the interesting thing, and the thing that you need to uh, pay attention closely about, is that these circles need to line up with each other um, going across. So all of the one circles need to be all in a straight line. Like you can't have a circle up here, you can't have one circle down here, they all need to be in line with each other. Alright, the next circle is uh, for the next number seven, so that's the next first seven. So I'll place a circle where seven is, making sure that they're all lined up. And the next one is seven as well. I'm gonna place a dot on top of that. This is how, how we stack and keep track of how many how many numbers we have. All right, next. Next number after that is 8. All right, making sure that these are lined up with each other. Great. Next number after that is 10. Lined up. Great. Next number after that is 11. I'm going to place a dot above the 11. And again, I'm just keeping track of how many times these numbers show up. That's all a line plot does. Next number after that is a 10. Notice how the spacing is very equal between these dots and they're stacked very neatly. And then uh, the last number is 5. There we go. So we have made a line plot uh, to show the where the data points actually show up. What, what this does is it shows us how spread out the data is we, we can see how spread out the data is, but it also lets us know how frequently um, that these numbers actually appear in the data set. So it appears that the data, um, that because 10 is the highest stack, that 10 is the most frequent data point in this, in this data set. The next, frequent data, the next highest frequent data point is 7 and 8 because there are two of them, and then we have 1, 5, and, and 1, 11. So, this is a very organized way to show this data right here. This is what we call raw data, where the data has not been organized in any way. Um, this is what we call organized data. And in this case, we have organized the data in a line plot. Number lines are going to be very helpful for us to organize statistical data that's given to us in numerical form, because we're going to be able to look at um, look at the data in a very organized way and be able to make some conclusions from it. So a line plot is very helpful in, in helping us to organize our data. I hope that you enjoyed this video, learned how to use a line plot, and um, pay attention and uh, stay tuned for the next two videos in this video series on statistics, on representing numerical data. The next video after this will be on um, making histograms, uh, and then the last video on representing numerical data will be on um, making uh, box plots or what we call box and whisker plots. So link to those videos and I hope you enjoy. Take care.